Indian developers in JVC. Now I don't want to mention names, but the prices per square foot. If you're going to sell me a JVC at one thousand seven hundred dirham per square foot, it's not two thousand dirham per square foot in JVC does not appeal to me. For me, JVC, I would not spend more than thousand two hundred dirham per square foot. So I'm very clear on my investment uh, strategy: tier one, tier two, tier one. What price per square foot I'm maximum willing to pay? Tier two, how much I'm willing to pay? Townhouses, how much I'm willing to pay? Villas. mansions now my next video is going to be we're going to go really deep very very technically on mansions on because now the supply of products in the market is unbelievable there's this small townhouse big townhouse semi detached townhouse small independent villa medium independent villa big independent villa mansions and the prices are are very very close to each other but the price jump is a big difference A semi-detached villa, I've seen a better price jump than a small independent villa. A mansion and an independent villa, I've seen the mansion jump from eighteen million to forty million. Why wouldn't I inform that to my investors? Okay, every time I say I have a European client, no, no, brother. Uh, some of my best investors are uh, Indian and Pakistani, but from the UK and US, you know. So I do like them. Having a, a European client base is also very, very uh, useful and interesting because apart from crypto. it helps in trading as well i enjoy work i don't have any bias towards investors i lo i love working japanese investors are fantastic i've had some investors from japan amazing so no i have no bias towards investors all investors are welcome being indian you're not even mentioning indians you're trying to say your european client okay this is again same it revolves around the same topic okay mohammed i asked you several times you didn't answer you said russell kemas another emirate not like dubai maybe you wanted to say don't buy from russell kaima opposite of other brokers why you changed your mind now maybe you can explain also why nobody's talking about ellington there's so many buildings in russell kaima which already sold out and also can someone tell me whether roi is much lower now someone says it's not season this is my point where i've mentioned that i'm not biased towards any developer any emirate for me it's all about the money In my last video, I mentioned one of my investors bought twenty-five acres of land in Lambak, opposite Bali in Thailand. It was a good investment. He's looking into Maldives because he's he's trying to acquire land on on the beach. You know, he's going to divide into plots. So for me, it's it's that I've got people looking into Africa as a market. I've got people looking into US, into London. India, wherever you make money, the problem with India and Pakistan is inflation because with the currency devaluation and then the tax situation, liquidation becomes an issue. Russell Kaima, my issue was the prices jumped really fast. It it went towards the three thousand dirham per square foot mark. Again, it was comparison. I'm like, hey, you know, why don't we just pick up in a safer destination like Rasha Dhawan and Marina, Maritime City, Dubai Islands. Dubai Creek Harbor, Dubai Hills, Expo City. These are phenomenal investment destinations. At that price point, it did not it did not make sense. Now, do I have any comparables with Firdaus uh, Villas? No. If I compare them with Falcon Villas, there is no comparison. There is no comparison between a Shoba Villa and a Falcon Villa. It's just if you look at the floor plan, you look at the quality, you look at the price point. There's just no comparison. Have you seen the floor plans of Firdaus Island uh, of the villas on Firdaus Island? It's phenomenal. Built in pool. Most developers, as you know, they just show the pool on the floor plan. Here, you actually have a pool. At the external areas, almost thirty percent green areas, double height ceilings, eight meter ceiling height, access to a private beach. And have you seen the? I, I went to the area. Have you seen the beach and the sea? It's beautiful. And the distance, it's unbelievable. Uh, the distance between for uh, Sinaya Island and Marjan Island, and the biggest difference, the biggest difference that I love the most is that see Marjan Island, uh, like let's say JVC. All right. What's the difference between JVC and Dubai Creek Harbor? Please, this is not meant to spark up any controversy. I'm just I'm just talking about something very simple. The difference is that in JVC, every plot of land was sold to any developer who came by, and so if you enter JVC, it's just like a lot of buildings. You know, they're doing well in ROI, but it just doesn't seem the same to the eye. Okay, it's just like okay, 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 okay. You know. Dubai Creek Harbor because the whole island is developed by Ima. There is symmetry. Downtown Dubai. Why does downtown Dubai look so beautiful? Why does downtown Dubai perform better than Dubai Marina? Both are developed by Ima. Okay, that's a better one. Forget about the JVC part. Okay, 
<laughs> Let's compare Dubai Marina and downtown. Why is downtown Dubai such a stable market? Why do people love city walk? Symmetry. Symmetry. When a, a an ex what is the difference between Imar and Shoba? Imar are kings when it comes to a master plan. They are master community developers. They build the best communities. Shoba have been contractors for over 25 years. They're called the palace makers. They started building palaces for the sheikhs in Oman, in Bahrain, in Qatar. So their expertise is construction. What is the difference between Sinaya Island and Marjan Island? Sinaya Island is being developed by one developer. There's going to be symmetry there. It's going to look beautiful. Look at, study the master plan. The master plan looks beautiful. A lot of space. Everything is on a natural sea. There's a beach. There'll be a resort. It, it looks like a resort island. And the price per square foot, 2,000 dirham per square foot for that villa, 2,200 dirham per square foot. It's just the price point, ma'am. That's all. Let's see, Ellington, the price point is quite high. Again, the one bed fit in Ellington is going through 3 million dirhams. And I, I, get, a little, I get a little hesitant. You know, when um, the price point goes a little high, I, I do get a bit hesitant because then I start comparing. So over here also it's comparing. When I compare, what did I speak in my last video? Let's compare this product with the Bay Villas in Dubai Island. Let's compare with Palm Jebel. Let's compare Apple to an Apple, right? So I've made a complete report. So the next two videos that you can expect, one is on luxury villas. So I've sent this report to my investors, right? Before, before, So before any of my investors invest, I always prepare a customized report specifically to their requirement. I understand their cash flow. What is your cash flow? I, I, I explain the cash flow to them. I understand the requirement and I make a very specific report for them. So the next video is going to be about luxury villas. We're going to compare. We're going to compare. So in Damak, there are three types, V55, V75, V1000. This oasis of Imar, this Nalchiba Gardens that's coming. Uh, there's an Acres Part 2, six bed villas. Um, there's Dubai Islands going to come up. Bay Villas going to launch another part. There are so many interesting products coming. You cannot just randomly invest. You've got to do your numbers. And all of them are the same price point. All of these products that I've just mentioned are the same price point. There'll be a jump in Palm Jebel Ali, a slight jump. But these are important products that you have to analyze. I'm a numbers guy. So we're going to study uh, all, we're going to get dig deep into these numbers. And, and yes, the impact of the casino is an imp casino is a very important product. So why did I pick Sinaya Island, Umel Queen? Why is it a very important product? Wh who is, who do you think the casino is going to attract? What crowd? There are two kinds of people who are going to come to a casino. One is the ultra rich. Now the ultra rich, I don't think many people have interacted with the ultra rich. You don't understand ultra rich. Have you been to a club where somebody just blows up a million dirhams? Have you been to a, a gambling or a casino where someone loses a million, two million dollars? They don't care. If you have, you will understand the demographic I'm talking about. Eastern Asia, US. There are some places, Middle East. Middle East. <laughs> if I talk, you, talk to you about the events in the Middle East, for them, these ultra rich, are they going to go for a one bed? Are they going to go for a two bed? What are they going to go for? They're going to go for Nobu. Address, Nikki Beach, not Rosso, Nikki Beach. Marriott, US likes Marriott. You know, a lot of people like Marriott. But they're not, they're not the gamblers. And where do they go for the ultra luxury villas? Where do they go? You need to assess, you need to analyze. There are 169 villas, limited supply. So who are we targeting? See, I always think end to end. I've explained this. If you pick up a product, who are you going to sell it to? So for example, in Rashid Yachts and Marina, it was a 3,000 dirham per square foot. When everyone is running behind the one beds and the two beds, I told my investors, let's study this, this particular series. So again, there was what Marina Views and uh, Cove. So Marina Views were the building in the front. I was only interested in Marina Views. So building number two sold out even before the launch. Building number one had this particular 07 series where a three bed was selling at 4.5 million. That's the only product that made sense to me. I was like, okay, I can trade this. This I can trade. Okay. The rest, if I pick up a two bed at 4 million dirhams, it's it's not easy to trade because you're, you're competing. See, if I'm picking up a product at a two bedroom at 4 million dirhams, if I want to trade it at 5, 5.5, 6 million, my competition straight goes with townhouses and villas. It's not an easy product to trade. So you need to think about these factors. You need to think end to end. Who am I going to sell it to? Which demographic? Which nationality? That's why I get more into nationalities because I need to understand who am I going to trade to. 
and to the person who said do i don't deal with indians oh my god indians are yes one of the very the strongest buyers when i check us the demographic of como residents is bulgari yes an indian is always there okay so i i hope i answered all your uh, questions for shoba Firdaus Island I really enjoyed making this video uh if you have any further questions comments I'll be be very happy to answer I do intend to come live very soon I'll let you know soon when I'm going to come live I'm going to host some live webinars in in US in in Singapore these are two destinations we've planned initially Norway also so three destinations that we've planned all these updates are going to come down very soon thank you for watching Mohammed Sahib